Okay, let's do this. Sure, let's go. Nga! Quit screwing around and start! I'm my is going to show up in her winter uniform. There's always someone in every class who forgets the switch. Good morning, sis. Huh? And that someone is my sister. Oh, darn it! I forgot to send my entry into the tally for that giveaway of theirs. I was kind of hoping to win that apron from Love Apron, too, darn it. It sounds like you don't have enough love. Huh? You forgot about it because you don't have enough love for the show. Whatever. I've been really busy with all my committee stuff. Besides, I also had to study for exams. No, 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 no. Those are excuses. I've never forgotten to send mine in. Stop comparing yourself to me! You got time because you goof off all day! Besides, the way you said that ticks me off! Aha! Uh -huh. How does anyone win a contest like that anyway? One word, and that's love. Whatever! I'm a woman with no love. There it is. Well, if you send in a normal-looking postcard, you're never gonna win anything. Huh? What do you mean, Kona-chan? I design it so it'd get picked. Design how? The first basic step is neat penmanship. Then you have to make a postcard that attracts the attention of the person who's picking them. For example? For example, take a highlighter and draw a border around the edges of the postcard. Oh, that makes it stand out! Then draw a picture on it that's got something to do with the prize you're trying to win. A picture, huh? Hmm, but I can't draw too good. Not to worry, Tsukasa. Send in a bunch of postcards and overwhelm them with volume. <laughs> I know I can do that. Although, if you do it that way, you can't use a computer and you can't just make one and make a bunch of copies. You have to write each entry by hand. And it's got to be at least a hundred. A hundred? Sure, it's normal to send a hundred postcards. That's going to cost a fortune. But winning takes lots of time and money. Winning is all about how bad you want it. Okay, but at this point, wouldn't it just be cheaper to buy it? You can't buy the feeling you get when you win something? Huh. Can a hundred postcards fit in a mailbox? No, don't put all of them in the same mailbox. You put a few in this one, you put a few in that one. Just do that every day for a week. Really? Yeah, because if you send in a stack of cards all at once, whoever's choosing will notice and shove yours aside. It's a sign of desperation, so it's not a good idea to do that. But sometimes it really pays off. Then what do you think I should do? Like I said, you need love. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, if you really want to win stuff, there's always those free handouts or those flyers in newspapers. Just keep your eyes open for the drawings that don't have too big a following in your set. Then your chances of winning are pretty high. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna try that. Where's the love in that? Hmm. Hmm. I just noticed something. You guys look different, for twins, that is. Of course, we're fraternal twins, not identical twins. You can tell us apart, just like ordinary sisters. Identical twins look the same, but fraternal twins come from two different eggs, so they differ in appearance and personality. Oh, I get it. That explains why Tsukasa's oh. really laid back and you're so vicious. What'd you say? <laughs> you see? Maybe if you do your hair the same way, you'll look more alike than you'd think. <laughs> no way, Kagami can't do cute. Oh, <laughs> shut up and keep your kooky <laughs> fantasies and comments to yourself. Hey, are you guys telepathic? Huh? 
I heard that even if twins are raised separately, they end up having similar lives. If they get married, they'll pick the same type of people to marry. I even heard sometimes twins marry other twins. Weird, huh? It's even weirder when one twin's in danger and the other one gets a feeling something's wrong even though the other twin's far away. That's a whole lot of phenomena, isn't it? So you guys have to be telepathic. Come on, let's try it out. Hokey pokey. Okay, you read way too much manga. <laughs> There's Manakana. Manakana? Yeah, them. They said there were things about them that were different. Like how Mana's the one who's really cautious and Kana's the one who's optimistic. And they said that when they sing, they can tell their voices are different. Oh, yeah, that's right. Manakana always thought they're from different eggs. You know, fraternal. But a little while ago, they found out they're twins from the same egg. What? They're identical? Yeah, why are you so surprised about that? I heard the definition of identical and fraternal twins had been changed recently. You think it's possible that you and Tsukasa came from the same egg? Let's see, how are you guys the same? I got it, both of you like sweets, right? Yeah, I do. Sure. Both of you are also left-handed. Yep. That's right. What's your favorite color? I like white. Mine's black. That would be the color of your soul. What was that? I guess all this talk about eggs and sausages and stuff got me hungry. We weren't talking about food. Uh, it's so muggy in here. It's not even that crowded in here and we're sweating. Guess it's that time of year again. Hot! I wish someone would turn on the air conditioning. Huh? Uh, uh, <gasps> Don't do that! So hot. Ladybug Samba, punk rock version. So I just found out that a cousin of mine's gonna be getting married this month. Wow, she's gonna be a June bride. That's nice. Tell me something. Huh? How did such a wet and gloomy month ever become synonymous with weddings and happiness? <laughs> You're wondering why the month of June is synonymous with weddings and happiness? Mm-hmm. Mm in Roman mythology, the goddess Juno, where the word June comes from, was regarded as the protector of women and marriage. The Greek's version of Juno, Hera, was the goddess of anything related to marriage and childbirth. That's why it's said that whoever gets married in June will be blessed by the goddess and have a marriage filled with happiness. Oh. Yeah, but isn't Hera supposed to be Zeus's wife? Yes, that's right, she is. I always pictured Hera to be the jealous type because Zeus was always fooling around on her, so I'm not feeling the happy here. Uh, what? When you get married, do you want to wear a dress or a kimono? I'd really like to wear a dress. It's what I dreamed of since I was a little girl. Hmm. Maybe I'd like to wear a dress, but I also think a kimono would be nice. Hmm. I wish I could wear both. <laughs> they have mini skirts now and all kinds of colorful wedding dresses too. Wow, mini skirt wedding dresses. That could be really cute if it had some kind of frilly design on the hem. So many dreams and so many frills. Oh my. Tsukasa's like Angel Salvier. No, actually your hair makes you look more like Daisy. So you should be wearing a mini skirt and your top should be yellow. Uh, I think Tsukasa-san would look good in a mini skirt. You do? Sure, the outfit's important, but the kind of person you end up marrying is too. It could be a childhood friend or some girl from a rich family. That's a tough decision to make, cause one's got the money and the ability to cast magic spells like Oi Me and Yasun, which always come in handy. But if you're after true love... Then Bianca's the one! Whoa, Kagami, when did you get so pure? I thought you'd go for the girl with the money. I'm out of comebacks. Huh? Hiya, Konata. Hmm? You know that game I borrowed? I need help getting past this one level. Whoa, not so fast there, Kagamine. Hmm? Don't you think it's more fun when you figure things out like that on your own? Hmm, yeah, you have a point. You know it. It's fun to figure things out on your own, uh-huh. So, I guess you won't be copying my homework anymore, will you? <laughs> You know those detectives in manga and TV shows? Isn't it weird how they keep coming across murders all the time? Guys like Conan and Kindaichi. If they didn't, they wouldn't have any mysteries to solve, would they? Really? Because they could go after normal cases, too. Normal how? They could have a case where they run all over Japan looking for a missing person. Tracking someone down's got a lot of game-like aspects to it. It's got thrills, it's got suspense. Yeah, I guess. A case where a husband wants his wife tailed because he thinks she's cheating. Looking for a lost pet could be a case. Yeah, right?
Yeah, but do you think it'd be any fun to watch that? Well, no, I guess it wouldn't be any fun at all. You see? You're right. Real-life cases don't have the clever tricks, bizarre situations, or show-stopping finales that the crimes in manga and anime have. Hmm, you're right, they don't. Like baking fingerprints or scrubbing a crime scene so Luminol won't pick up anything. Huh? Making it so the forensics team can't solve it. Well, the police don't want someone copying the perfect crime, so they censor that stuff from manga and TV. Yeah, or maybe... Perfect crimes happen all the time, but they don't tell us. Maybe they're never solved. Ever. Careful talking like that. Someone might hear you. Don't you hate how there's been so much rain lately? Yeah, I know. <sighs> I remember when I was little, I used to like rainy days a lot. I never liked them, because if you go out, you get wet, and then you can't hang your clothes out to dry. How come you liked rainy days so much? Because if it rained, there wouldn't be any baseball on TV, and I'd get to watch all my anime. <laughs> I should have known you'd say something like that. <laughs> yeah, but now they've got stadiums with domes. Lucky, Lucky star! star. Hmm. Uh, what's the matter? You know how in manga and anime, they've got really smart characters and really stupid characters, and they're both going to the same school? I've had enough out of you. Shut up! If you don't like it, why don't you get lost, you dork? I always thought that was kind of strange, don't you? I noticed something, too. The other day I watched this anime where the teacher and students all looked the same age, and it was totally weird. Heck, the teacher looked younger. Uh, ma'am? Yes, Taichi Masan. That's not surprising, because the world's always had a fascination with stuff like that. People who look young and act old, or people who look old and act young, you know. Uh, no. You never question it, you just go with the flow. It's a lot weirder to have students with different test scores in the same class, don't you think? You're right. I couldn't agree with you more. And since you brought it up, Konata, I was always surprised that you got accepted to this school. You're so good at pulling all-nighters, maybe that's how you pass the entrance exam! <laughs> uh, wait, is that how she did it? Nah, just kidding. That's way too much work for an all-nighter. Oh, thank goodness. I'm surprised you actually studied for it. Did a new quiz game come out for the DS or something? No, but my dad did give me a couple of conditions. For a D-rank school, I get a Pippin, a C-rank, a 3DO, and a B-rank's a PS2. Man, Izumi's dad sure knows what buttons to push. I just thought of something. Uh, huh. Huh. I'm surprised Tsukasa's in the same school as us. I can't believe you'd be huh. so blunt about it! KO! Damn, I can't beat her in a fighting game. She spends too much time playing these. Pick another game. Even if it isn't a fighter, I'll take you on. Uh oh, sure about that? Then how about we play a quiz game next? Ugh, you're kidding. It's a lousy quiz game and she totally beat me. No way. <laughs> Maybe she went and memorized all the questions and answers. Her memory's sharp as a tack when it comes to games. So what are we gonna play next? You in a hurry or something? Hey, that's weird. Where is it? Didn't you used to have an easy party game that you like to play? Hey, how do you know so much about what games I've got in my house, huh? Well, I just thought it was something even you could beat me at. <laughs> really stinky! <laughs> hey, Kagami, how come you're not eating any of these snacks? Usually, you gobble them all up. No reason, I just don't want any. Oh, I get it. You're on a summer diet, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm not. It's nothing like that. No one to show your bathing suit to anyway. Shut up! You don't need to go there! Oh, that's right. You guys were born on the Star Festival. It's almost your birthday, isn't it? Yeah, so what? Oh, Kona-chan, you remembered our birthday. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be 17. 17's the year before the unlucky one. What do you mean? What's gonna happen? 17's when unlucky things start happening, and it's right before the real unlucky year. Uh-huh. So now it's my 17th birthday coming up. I'm getting a little worried. I ended up buying power stones and talismans to ward off evil and other stuff. Well, at least you're having fun, right? Yeah, right. I bought so much I got to the point... Yeah, now that we have one of those reckless charms. I mean, one of those cautious charms. She said reckless charm. <laughs> She's all, that's enough. Safe childbirth, safe driving, be careful now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Did you guys know that your birthday happens to be on Ponytail Day? Uh, 
I didn't know. Why is July 7th Ponytail Day? Because in the Legend of the Star Festival, Vega had a ponytail, that's why. Boy, that's stretching it. <laughs> and did you know that there's this thing called the Japan Ponytail Association? And that every year they pick a celebrity who they think would look good in a ponytail and give them an award for it? Wow, I didn't know. That's silly. I mean, doesn't everybody look good in a ponytail? Oh, you think so, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it would work with my hair. How is it? Great. A small ponytail is really cute on you. Konachan, you look great. I think you totally pull off that look. Yeah, you think so? Mm, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, you look so... Yeah, you look so... Okay, fine. It doesn't work on me. I get it. You look manly like a samurai. Drop it already! You know how drunks go around with their neckties wrapped around their heads? You guys have any idea why they do that? Yeah, I do. See, when a drunk loosens his tie, he's got to pull it over his head to take it off. The tie gets stuck, and there you have it. Oh. What's even weirder are the drunks that stagger around carrying takeout boxes. What's up with that? Takeout boxes? You know, Kato-chan carries them in the drifters. <laughs> I still don't get it. That's the visual of the typical drunk. They've always got the necktie around their heads and they're carrying takeout. I don't know why that is. You see? Vega and Altair, I hope they meet this year. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. I'm just hoping that your reckless charm works. <laughs> yeah, whatever. The comp fest is in the middle of a huge quo card giveaway. You know, you've been collecting those quo cards forever, but I don't think I've ever seen you use them. Hmm? Oh, I don't use them. But why do you collect them, then? When something comes out that's related to a show or manga you like, don't you want to have it as a collector and as a fan? Okay, but you're supposed to use those things, aren't you? You can't use them ever! You have to store them someplace safe. It really pisses me off when I see all those people using those cards like common money. These are sacred things. They're meant to be bought and carefully archived. You're not supposed to use them, and it's out of the question to go and auction them. If you do, you'll fail both as a fan and as a collector. Okay, didn't think you'd get so worked up about it. Here's how I do it. I always get three cards for the collection. First off, I pull the most pristine one and lock it away for eternity in a special case. The second card's for me to keep so I can look at it every now and then. And the third one? It's a loner. You're kidding. Kagami, isn't it human nature to want two or three of something that you really, really like? Come on, aren't you the same way? Huh? Uh... Fine, whatever, so you don't. I'm an otaku. I'm totally weird. I'm a weirdo. No, I, I didn't say that. I think I sort of know what you're saying, I guess. Tsukasa, you seem like the type who'd be popular with boys, but I never hear him talk about you. <laughs> she's kind of on the plain side, so she doesn't really stand out. Mm. I think it's because she's got a scary sister guarding her. You say something? <laughs> Maybe it's not because I'm plain. Maybe it's because you guys and Yuki-chan are more unique. Yeah, that Miyuki-san, she sure is smart and pretty. She's got an awesome figure. She wears glasses, she hates the dentist, and she's clumsy in a cute way. But hey, she... you're getting weird on us again. You know, I've never heard any rumors about Miyuki either. Maybe guys are scared to talk to her because she's so pretty. Oh, I doubt that. She's totally nice and gets along with everyone. I guess you're right. Hey, maybe she gets asked out all the time. And then she turns all of them down? I don't know, maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't even know she's being asked out when they ask her. Oh, that might be it. You know, Yuki-chan's sort of clueless, so maybe guys need to be more direct when they ask her out. I swear, your class has got to be filled with a bunch of scared little boys. You're telling me that there's not one of them with the guts or passion to go up to Miyuki and ask her out on a date? I don't think so. Maybe what the school needs are more maniacs in class. Huh? Oh, yeah. Girls like Miyuki-san are much more appealing to the maniacs. Maniacs, huh? <laughs> oh, no. I didn't realize it was already this late. Sorry, but I think I have to go now. Oh, already? Yes, I'm sorry. But don't mind me. I'll see you later, okay? Well... I'm off then. Have a good rest of the day. Later. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So here's the end of the story. This guy got up and then he. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Excuse me. Yeah! I'm so sorry. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, that always happens. It's no big deal. Even I've done it before. I've done it too. See, it happens to everybody at least once. You've done it too, right? Never. And that Kagami was an example of Moaism. Uh. Miyuki-san, good job, girl! 
Lucky Star. Lucky Channel! Hi, Luckies! Yeah! It's time for my super fun on Lucky Channel! <laughs> and I'm your navigator, Akira Kogami! And... Oh, and I'm Minoru Shiraishi, Akira-sama's assistant. How's it going? Yeah, sure. You know, today's a really special day because it's officially... Ta-da! Our third episode together! What do you think, Shiraishi-san? Are you getting the hang of it? Yeah, no, not really. I'm sorry. Shiraishi-san's having a hard time opening up to me, and that makes me really sad. You're even sitting further away from me than usual. Huh? Guess this means you don't like me anymore. Uh, so... Whoa, hey, that's not true. Look. Scoot. Hey! I'm gonna start this episode with a twinkle today. You see, we're gonna start doing something that'll make all you fans out there happy. That's right. Today's our first installment of Lucky Star featured character introductions. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Yes, today we'd like to introduce you to Miss Miyuki Takara. See, she's a class committee chair, she's beautiful, she's gentle and kind, she's knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable, good at sports, and superhuman, too. Shiraishi-san, you know a lot about Miyuki-san, don't you? That's right, I know all about her. She's a really nice person. Besides that, she wears glasses, which makes her even more pretty, as you can see. You know, when someone's as beautiful as she is, you feel like you can't really approach her. However, she's actually very easygoing, and we'll talk to Wow, it'd be nice if you were that talkative on my radio show. Uh... You just can't stop talking about that girl, can you? Well, uh, I know her, and I was just telling everyone. Sure you were. Miyuki-san, was it? Uh, Miyuki with a pretty face, Miyuki with the big boobs, every fault and aspect of Moe. Oh, I'm so jealous. Sama. Come Hello? to think of it, don't the maniacs go for her type? Maniacs sure, she's got bit... the maniacs, but I've still got my pedophiles to take back. Oh, no! It's time to say goodbye, isn't it? I hope you had a super happy, fun time. We want to know what you think about the show, and I want to know what you think about me. So send those cards and letters, please. Yeah, well, we hope to see you again next time. See you later! <laughs> okay, so what's she really like? Well, like I described her. Oh, please. You mean she's not backstage burning through a pack of smokes every 15 minutes? Oh, no. She's not like you. She's... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That was so cool. It certainly was a unique song. I'd like to hear a song that normal people know. Oh, you'll know the next one, Kagami. Promise. Huh? Intro's coming up. Try to guess it. It's not going to be another weird song, is it? Kagamine, your answer, please. Oh, FMP, Full Metal Panic. Oh. And it's your favorite version, Kagamine, Fumo Boo. Oh, really? No, I just read the book and got a little. Konachan, you're good. She has such a pure singing voice. She's just impersonating a singer. So how about you guys? What are you going to sing? I'm not sure if there's anything I can sing. I don't think I know any of these songs. Like it matters. Come on, Kodaja's gonna be singing this stuff all night if we don't pick anything. Pick something. Okay, I'll try. I'm not confident about my singing, though. It's all right. We're the only ones listening. So just pick a song and have some fun. Really? On the next episode of Lucky Star... Tsukasa here. So, um, the other day I laughed so hard I couldn't breathe. I thought I was gonna pass out and the next morning at school. Ah, I'm out of time. Next time, a question of motivation. Look forward to it.